January 24th, 2024, Old School RuneScape released its newest boss, Scurrius the Rat King. Scurrius is a mid-level boss that is designed to give some of the best combat XP rates in the game and teach newer players about more advanced boss mechanics. But if you're anything like me, when a new update like this comes out, you think, how can I cheese it? Ha! <laughs> Get it? Anyways, considering other afk -able bosses in the game like Seracnus, Fight Caves, and Ardeo, this is by far the most afk -able boss pet in old school RuneScape, and here's how to do it. Scurrius has 5 basic attacks, a melee attack where he whips you with his tail, a magic attack where he glows blue and throws lightning at you, a range attack that looks like some sort of gas or poison, a stomp attack where you move to avoid the falling debris, and a minion summoning attack with giant rats that attack with melee and hit slightly through prayer. The main purpose of this boss is to avoid the damage, pray correctly, but since we are going for the most afk mode possible, camping protect melee seems like the optimal way to go. Starting off with the most budget setup that I could think of, this gear costs only 20 mil, and as far as keeping you alive, it seems about on par with the most expensive setup that I'll get to in a moment. We can call this the Blood Barrage method. In order to make this the most AFK, no switches, no special attack, just straight camping the Blood Barrage so that every hit is a heal. The Ancient Scepter, other than having a straight up 5% magic damage, also has an increased healing effect with Blood Spells. You get a similar buff in Blood Spell Healing with the Blood Bark Armor. There are gloves that come with the set, but there's no advantage to having the full set, so the Tormented Bracelet will result in more kills per hour. However, if you are tight on cash, the method will probably still work with that one downgrade. You can also notice that we're going for a high prayer bonus with this setup. While only camping protect melee, you can leave your computer for up to 8 minutes without your prayer running out and almost surely still be alive when you get back. The requirements to use this setup are at least 92 mage for blood barrage and at least 60 defense for the blood bark armor. With the next setup we are bringing back an old classic, the Guthans method baby. This setup costs between 20 and 50 mil, and you can customize a few things to your liking. In the full prayer gear, only using protect from melee, you can leave your computer for up to 9 minutes before your prayer runs out. If you don't think you need that much afk time, you can swap out the prayer gear for more strength bonus gear, or use a hybrid of both like the guardian boots. The SGS can also be a useful spec weapon to take in to conserve more prayer or if your HP drops too low. It's not really worth using piety with this setup since it drains your prayer massively and at that point you might as well be paying attention. You might be thinking that with Guthans and Blood Fury that this might be healing over a kill, but I tested both Max Gear Blood Fury and Guthans without Blood Fury and managed to die within the first two kills with both methods. The combo of the two is what keeps you alive for good. This method is pretty similar to the Blood Bark method at about 20 kills per hour. It also requires 70 defense and 70 attack to do this method. Finally, we have the optimal setup for farming the most AFK boss in the game. This setup will run you a total of 820 mil at current prices. With a saturated heart to boost your magic level to 112, you can max a 43 blood barrage with this gear. To get the most out of this setup, I would recommend AFKing for up to 5 minutes at a time so you can keep the saturated heart boost. With this method, you can easily get 32 kills per hour, and with the Eldritch Staff special attack, which restores your prayer by 50% of the damage dealt, you can expect insanely long trips. The requirement for this setup are 92 magic, 75 defense, and 80 prayer. Completion of Desert Treasure 2 is needed to wear the Magus Ring. If you don't fancy questing, the Ring of the Gods will do just as well. Now here are some pro tips to help you during your grind. Start your AFKing by standing near Scurrius' spawn point. The closer he is to you, the faster he starts attacking to where your auto retaliate will begin to attack back. For reference, he spawns towards the east side of the room. Use the private instance. If you're an Iron Man or someone who doesn't use alts, there is a private instance available for free where no other players can bother you. Another advantage to the private instance is that all of your loot will stay on the ground until the end of your trip when you can grab all your goodies and make some cash back. Make sure you pick up Scurry's spines. Other than making the new weapons, which are actually pretty good against the boss itself, if you are looking to do some active kills, these spines can be traded into Historian Aldo, who is located right outside the boss lair, for some additional combat XP. If you are not in combat and are in need of some hit points, you can eat some of the cheese in either section of the boss room every 10 minutes, similar to the altars inside God Wars Dungeon boss rooms, and heal yourself to full. Hopefully this quick guide helped you in some way. If so, leave a like and let me know in the comments. If you're interested in more content in the future, consider subscribing and checking out my series. 
Good luck and hopefully you get a funny feeling soon, just like me. No way, I just got the pet on this account. <laughs> Let's AFK this. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, why well, stop here? We'll just keep going. For an extra bonus, here's the loot that I received on the first day of release. And have a great rest of your day.